Welcome back guys to another part of Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and as promised we're gonna be right back onto the action and avenge Kraw and everybody else of course oh oh all right all right all right I have no idea what I'm doing actually let me see what the heart whoa 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 Yeah, so because he teleports, this is definitely the one for me. Because of his teleporting bullshit. Yeah, Geralt! Oh! That's... Whoa! I have no idea how I evaded that. Man. The sound is not accurate at all. Good job! Fudge! Gonna be here for half an hour. What the heck just happened? Whoa! Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! That was not what we agreed upon! What the fuck? Whoa, 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 way, buddy. Fudge, fudge, fudge. No, Geralt, Jesus. Can I push him over the cliff? Cliff. <laughs> what the fuck is a cliff? Whoa. Hold on. It's all right. Come on. Come on. Come on, Geralt. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Hell yeah, man. Yeah, Geralt! What? Oh! Ah! Uh. Oh! He's almost done. Come on, Geralt. Come on, Geralt. Come on, baby. Ooh. 
All right. Yeah. Oh, where? I can't move. Oh, it glitched. It glitched on me. Why quest updated? I don't get it. Oh. What? I can't move. Oh shit. What the heck? Dude, I can't move. Is this supposed to happen? Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? It completely glitched. Come on. Come on. Awesome. Here we go again. Siri! Oh, Jennifer, I mean. Sorry. Where's Siri? What? I thought you knew. All I know is Avalok might have betrayed us. What the? That a storm? Geralt, look! Let's go, woman of my dreams. What do you think of Locke wants from her? Same as Eredin, I imagine. We will use her to open the gate between the world. Shit. An earthquake. We must hurry. Damn it! That shit! Whoa! I don't know what the other side. Go. What other side? Yen? Holy shit. Oh my god! Oh god. You're on fire! Oh, you're okay. What horse? You see? Oh. Is this my horse? Can I grab a horse? Can I grab a horse? Where do you want me to go? 
I'm here, Yennefer. Let's go. Oh, hell no. Oh my god. I have no idea where to go. Where is she? Woo! Sorry, Yen. I'm here, baby. Where do you want us to go? Oh god. Oh my god, this fucking horse! Faster. I'm trying, baby, but the fucking horse! Holy shit! Baby, let's go. Are you coming? Can you run? Damn! Avalov surrounded the tower with a magic barricade. Can you dismantle it? Dismantle? No, I can make a tear at best. But only for a moment, because there's no... Specifics yet. Will we both get through? Can I? No. Oh, okay. Well, at least she's fine. All right. Let's give this asshole a peace of mind. Oh, look. Fast travel. Why would I want to get back here? What? 
Avalarch speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower, because I aim to enter it. Oh my god, I don't know what to pick! You don't have to make this sacrifice. You're wrong. The white frost is inevitable. It will come to freeze the world one after the other, eradicating all life. No! Only I can stop the destruction. I've given it much thought and made my decision. There's gotta be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witch. Siri, it's don't! Story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it. Siri! Fucking cry again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what did I do? Gentlemen will follow. Well, you're not walking. Report the Novograd delegation is half a day's travel from here. They truly are Russian. Return to your post. Yes, sir. What of Novograd's higher up? What of him? Will he get his well earned rest or be sent straight to Dan Rua? His age, the church. Being kept by his Dathwin had an incarnate at Morford. This imperial men. 
Majesty awaits. She better not be dead. Enough. Did she ask you to go no. anything? No. No. We didn't talk about you. Don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me, game. If there's nothing else, there is what you may go. Oh. Witcher. I do not wish to see you. Ever again. Oh no. Geralt. Geralt. Need help with your wagon? I think we'll be all right. <laughs> 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 Aye, you betcha. We'll manage. True, the barrels are ample, but we shall pour some off of each soon. Geralt! True, no denying it. Nilfgaard flees, yet here it seemed nothing could move them. Geralt! Left their wine behind too. That's generous. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where are you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nilf Guardians. You take care now. Oh, man. What did I do? I don't want to play anymore. If she's dead, I don't want to play anymore. Where's Roach? Oh my god. Hope I'm crying like like a silly person. Geralt. Don't do this to me, man. Why? How did this happen? I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know, man. I didn't know. I didn't know. What was I supposed to know? How was I supposed to know, man? Hmm. 
probably got held back. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. 38 and a half inch blade. Weight, just under 40 ounces. Silver plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes, both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no Witcher has, or ever had a better weapon, you ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Lord. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speaks runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, have my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm -hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a Strigger's prowl in the Maribor Forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck in the path, Witcher. Fuck the path! Give me my my daughter, damn it! Oh my god! What did I do? I I don't know how to leave again. How do I leave this place, damn it? Ah, uh, I'm so I'm so. Everything's gone to shit. Who's the Master Witcher? Over here. Plenty of blades to try if it's your will. Shut Run, up. Crouch. How do I? I don't want to fast travel. I'm scared That's of what it might crouch. tell me. I'm not ready for that yet. I don't need this bullshit from ya. Come on, Roach. Oh, I see. There's a crater of some sort. There. Slow now. Yeah! Shite! The, the Witcher! Ah. Uh. I don't know where the dwarf went. Whoa. Footprints. A dwarf's. your trip smooth sailing he's still on about that leaky tub from the isle of mist <sighs> you're lucky you and that lass weren't in it with us you'd not have fit anyhow you're so late in that boat we barely made land and it reeked of fish manure you stole my boat borrowed we knew it was yours still is you don't think we'd do that to a mate like you? Plow you soapless while you slept off a bender. Uh, hmm? Oh, that's good. <laughs> so, can I give me my boat back? Why in the gods' names would you need a boat in this brush? Fair enough. Forget I said anything. How'd you wind up here? Our affairs brought us here. Hard times, you know. 
Got to earn the coin where you can. Folk around here need surveyors. We've shifted our efforts. Investors, man. Investors. They've come for us. Hide! <sighs> What's going on? You not seen us? Where are the dwarves? Dwarves? Do not play games with me, Witcher. They are thieves. They stole Lord Dagborg's golden chalice. Dagborg? Who's that? The new governor of these lands. The chalice must be found. Tell us what you know, or you will force us to extract it. That a threat? The Witcher will not cooperate. Take him. Ooh. Not good. Oh, thank you for that, Witcher. I told the lads back then you're a good fella, and we shouldn't have took your boat. Heard you've gone into investments. Asset management. Aye, aye. Investments in movable assets. Wow, well, these days you just never know when... That extra gold chalice could come in handy. I get it. What did you do with it? Uh, we don't have it. Found a buyer. Mr. Mirror... was it? A funny name. Paid good coin, though. We'd share it with you. We would, but... But you look like one who just frown in any proceeds from theft. Aye, you got that righteous phone on you, definitely. Yeah. Won't say no to friends. Actually, I'll gladly take some of that coin. Witcher's ethics. <laughs> World's going to shite. At least we nicked his dinghy. This is bullshit. Fuck the dwarves, I want Siri. Come on, Roach. Take me to Siri. Right now. Doesn't matter. Siri. You were to stay here. Bow before your new lord and protect her. What a what a lot of bullshit. With grace and justice, the word for us, the black ones with a satis. Let it be, Siri, please. I cannot handle this. Contract. It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toil. You've been busy. It's yours. A sword, swallow. Oh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, Witcher.
Let's try it out then. Oh, I'm so happy she's alive. So happy she's alive. The Third oh. Northern War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novograd and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, the Marians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, Emir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovir. While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well after noon, more often than not in bed, and passed the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sought this more than anything else. Man, I'm happy. I'm happy. I got Siri. I got Yennefer. I got Geralt alive. Oh, I'm good. Oh, I'm so glad. So glad. So glad. Oh my god, I was I was like shit. I got to go back. I got to go back. Um I got to save her, whatever. That's it. Thank you. Um I think that the in S series journey is basically um you know all about letting her fly out a nest you know like letting her make her own choices because yes you meet her as a little kid but all in all like we all grow up we all need to make our own decisions we all have our own personalities desires uh wants needs dreams wishes careful with odim there um and the thing is everyone the lodge the emperor um every single person wanted to use her and the entire game keeps hinting like what does siri want what does siri want what does siri want and i think that um because i can see how we could have ended badly there so i think that ultimately you get an a decent ending at least if you follow what the game tells you to do like fall um what's it called it's all about what siri wants and um before um when when i was because i did read a lot about odim uh these last few days when i'm not playing this because i'm off work and um now when i come back uh, after work i don't play i do editing and while editing uh sometimes i read about characters and games and developers and making offs and, and stuff like that and i i know that if you were like on the on the dlc on the hearts of stone if you were to let um odim take all geared soul then you get a few wishes that you could ask of of odim apparently without consequence and one of the one of the wishes if you haven't completed the main story by then is you ask help me find siri and odim says 
even I can't do that, something along those lines. But when you do find her, and he basically tells you exactly the choices you need to make for the good ending. Now, I didn't uh, really go into deep because at the time I didn't finish the main quest, I had no idea. Um, but I don't even know at this stage if the ending I got was one of the best uh, endings or not. But ultimately, uh, people that died are the ones that I wanted dead. Save for a few exceptions, like Old Geared, I'd much rather kill you as well. But at that time, it was um, Old Geared versus Old Demon. I kind of just picked the, the biggest evil. Um, so, yeah. I still, I will still play, obviously, uh, the Toussaint DLC, fucking loved it, uh, and I can't wait to play that as well. But overall, just, just disregarding the DLCs, just focusing on the main game, this game is fucking, fucking, fucking brilliant. Fucking amazing. Now, I did go with the Yennefer route, there's a lot of criticisms, because in, in the way that, um... What's her, what's her name? Triss is not given as many, uh, as, as, as many relevance as a uh, romance option. The thing is, she's not even the canon love interest. Like, based on the books, uh, which is where the series is based, Triss uh, took advantage of Geralt's amnesia and tricked him, tricked Yennefer, which was her best friend, to drink a girl into sleeping with her and having this sort of relationship with her. Now, that's incredibly fucked up and more than being uh, mad at Geralt, I mean, ultimately you had amnesia, you didn't know what what was happening, you didn't know who he was. And and for Yennefer to be so lenient towards Triss, I mean, that just, just boggles my mind. So, as far as people wanting to romance Triss, that's fine, you get to do that if you want. But it would never be the same as Yennefer, because... And again, it's open to, to interpretation, but... I feel that... Yennefer is, is a much more... Logical, it just fits with Geralt rather than, rather than Triss. Now, sure, sure, fair enough. You may not like uh, Geralt, um, Yennefer's personality, and that's fine. But then again, Geralt is already his personality, personality established. Uh, it's not really like um, it's a, just a blank canvas that you can be whoever you want. Geralt is already has his own moral code, and obviously you can make um, slight options, slight uh, choices here and there. But overall, most people just go for the same choices uh, over and over again because it just makes it just makes sense. Like when I killed Dykstra. Fuck Dykstra, did he go with me to 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 fight off the, uh, in Kaer Morhen? No, and I do know that even if he wanted, you just give me weaponry. Well, fuck your weaponry, you fat fuck. Meanwhile, Roche and Vess actually put their fucking necks out for Geralt, Ciri, and everyone else. So fuck off, Dykstra. That that was easy for me. No, voice acting. Voice acting was brilliant, brilliant. Loved it, loved it, loved it. There wasn't a single character that I was like, ah, oh, man. Now, fair enough, the merchant things get get, <laughs> get kind of old. <laughs> and, um, uh, you know, the faces get recycled over and over again. I mean, hey, there's so much you can do. Um, maybe one day we'll see, like, kind of randomized, like a, a face generator. In the games, but I mean, so far it was it was it was pretty cool. I, I I loved it every single day of it. Now I wish I could have killed Lambert and the other guy. Uh, was it Eskol? No, it wasn't Eskol. It was something else. Ermian? Yeah, I think yeah, I think it was Ermian. Looking at the the names there. Oh man, those motherfuckers jealous of uh, of Geralt's love life and success as a witcher everybody else can everybody uh, everybody else can go can can go fuck themselves I really wish I would have a shot at saving Krah. I, th I don't think that would be any chance of, of saving him by the by the looks of the of the cutscenes and whatnot um, and yeah now secondary missions and witcher contras and whatnot 
they were so creative. I never felt in any in any of them that I'm just doing this. Oh, they're oh yeah, this is just to make the game longer. Oh, I'm just doing this just because I want to level up. Most of them were I really, really, really had fun doing them. And even the moral choices, not so linear. Uh, whether it was because that town that had the Lessons contract on them, otherwise because the babes need to go strong, but then they're hunters, but then they're killed, but if you know, the old town dies and whatnot, and even the, the, blood, the bloody baron. I mean, I don't feel bad at all for the fucking guy. Go fuck yourself. Your wife cheats on you, you divorce, you don't hit. That's it. You don't hit. Someone cheats on you, you don't hit them. You don't hit them. You divorce. Someone hits you, yeah, you can hit back. Don't, don't fucking die over that shit. Um, but as soon as you can, just leave, because there's just there's just no point. Um, yeah. Man, I love the game so much, so much, so much. Now, combat. Um. I mean, the combat system gets a lot of shit online. Um, me personally, you just kind of get used to it. Um, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, sometimes it would be good to get like a lock on, or it would be more responsive to to when you dodge and shit. But I guess that you know you also have perks for that as well. And the thing is, don't make it too easy, of course. Now I played you. I played this game on one of the easiest difficulties. I'm definitely planning on them. Um, probably not play. Because I'm, I just don't have that talent. Um, but I, I would definitely watch a speed run, or even a 100% guide walkthrough, um, in the hardest, hardest, hardest difficulty. Uh, I, I, I would love to to watch that actually in my spare time. So yeah, man, I really, 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 really love this game. And in the meantime, I don't know if I already said this, but. Um, I've I've started uh, to read the books. I'm still on the first one, very very on the on the on the first chapters. But I'm loving that. I'm absolutely loving the books, um, or the book, should I say? Man, I'm completely in love in love with this, um, with with the series, with the franchise, with the with the whole saga. So yeah, obviously I had to cry when when I when I actually believed that Siri was dead. Like I just, I just this just broke my heart. So yeah, I mean, if I had to give this game a, uh, like a like a number, like classification, from one to ten, twenty-five minimum. One to ten, twenty-five off the scale by miles. One of the most amazing games I've ever played. It was it's so much fun, so much engaging. It's Whew, it, it, it touched me deeply in my heart, and I'm really happy that um, I don't know I, that I, I'm alive and I could buy the game and I could play the game and I can show a few things to maybe people who haven't played it uh, yet or people that just want to see as many playthroughs of the game um, as possible. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you with the credits. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget I'm gonna still finish uh, and play through all of it. Um, the, um, the, the, the Toussaint DLC.